Howdy and welcome back. Just like one of my ex-girlfriends who stalked me for three months, I'm back whether you like it or not. So today I'm going to show you how to access the film grain that you can find in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So normally, of course, in the studio version, you'd come up to the effects and you would choose your film grain. But today we're going to do it in the free version, which you will be doing it in the Fusion page. Now, the best way to add film grain is to add it on to an adjustment clip. That way you can extend it as long as you like. So you can find the adjustment clip in the effects under toolbox. Now you just chuck this on top. Now, all I'm going to do is leave it on half and then I'll show you why in a second. Now make sure before you go into fusion, you've selected the adjustment clip and you're not on your bottom clip here. Otherwise you're going to be adding that film grain onto that clip, not your adjustment clip. Now we're on the adjustment clip, so let's head over to the Fusion page. Now in our Fusion page, we have our two little nodes here. So highlighting our first node, we want to press Shift and Space. So we want to type in Film for Film Grain. Now we're going to use this one here. You won't see this one. That will be the Studio one. So under Film Grain, click this. So now you have some options with your Film Grain. So you can either make Film Grain larger, or you can make it even stronger so more apparent you can also add it to be more rough which would be a more like a super 8 type of look i mean that doesn't look like super 8 but you get the gist so let's make it quite small i like my film grain to be a little bit small so not overly apparent on our image now let's go to the color page and have a look now the other tip is is that when using fusion your color page won't affect your fusion page meaning that any grade you've done in the color page isn't going to be affecting your fusion page. So just be aware of that because when you go back to color, your grain is actually more apparent than it is in the fusion page. So let's play our image back and see what it looks like. So as you can see, we have some film grain on it. We don't have too much. This is the way I kind of like film grain to be, not too heavy. But as you can also see, we've actually lost that film grain right about here. So that is because... In our edit, we only covered the adjustment clip about three quarters of our clip, not the whole clip. So what you can do is you can extend your adjustment clip to be really long. And then that way, it's going to hit all the clips that are underneath your adjustment clip. So we play that back. As you can see, our other image here also has film grain. Now that is to say that you want that film grain look on all your clips to be the same. If not, then that's okay. You would just Take this down. Now, if you wanted a certain look on this clip here, then you just go back into Fusion. And again, Shift and Space. Then just click Add. Now, you could add any one you want. So let's say we wanted a more rougher look. So let's say more of a Super 8 type of look. Let's put the strength right up and the roughness right up. And then let's put the size around about here. Looks pretty good. All right, let's go back to our edit page or our color page and have a look. What we'll do, we'll play it from this clip here, which will connect into the other clip. Slams the bottle down, walks off in disgust. And then we have our other clip here, which obviously has a lot more film grain and looks a lot messier than our other look, which had more of a refined look to it. But that's it. That's how you make film grain in DaVinci Resolve free version. Really easy, quite handy. So if you ever want to add film grain into your clip, but you only have the free version Resolve, just chuck it in the Fusion and then go crazy. The only thing is that you can't actually select what type of film grain you want, unlike in the studio version where you can select 8mm, 16mm, um, the speed of the film grain, etc. So like 400T as an example. In this one, you kind of have to make it up yourself. The best way to look at it would be the smaller the size would be the smaller the speed of the film grain. So ISO or ASA in film turns, something like 50 ASA film, you'd have the size quite low and the strength quite low because you don't have that much film grain with 50 speed film. But obviously if you went up to 400T film, maybe you'd increase the size a bit and the strength. So you'd get a more of an apparent look to it. So that's the way I look at film grain. The faster the speed, the more grainier your image will be. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Hope you enjoyed my amazing joke at the start. I certainly enjoyed telling it. <laughs> anyway, if you have any other things you want to see, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I've been Drew from Gringo Productions. Have a great day, and I have a really good one coming up on 
noise reduction next week. So make sure to hang around. I mean, you know, do other things before that. But yeah, make sure to come back in about a week's time. Thanks again. I've been Drew from Gringo Productions.